I want to talk about uh, a school in Georgia, uh, and this one is called Tbilisi Medical Academy, or TMA for short, as we, we often refer to it. Um, so this is a school, as I said, based in Georgia. It's based in the capital city of Georgia, Tbilisi. Um, they teach just medicine uh, in English. Uh, it's a six-year MD. Our tuition fees, as you can see, are approximately six and a half thousand euros. So that's just over five thousand pounds, I want to say at the moment, uh, per year. And the cost of living around 550 euros per month. Uh, they do have dormitories available for students that are, are interested. Again, a lot of universities in Europe don't have that. So that's an important thing. If that means a lot to you, that's something good to look out for and always ask about when you're looking into a school. Um, and their next intake had just gone, uh, the March intake there. Uh, so moving on from there, uh, let's have a look at a few of the campus features. So here you can see um, they've got libraries, uh, like many schools, but again, you'd be surprised, you know, some don't have access to things like this. And if they do, they're more community ones that you have to then pay a premium for with the school. They're all included. Uh, carrying on from that, you can see some of the laboratories. Again, up-to-date facilities. You see the same nowadays all across Europe. So wherever you go, whether you're spending 20,000 a year or 5,000 a year on the education, you have these facilities in the top universities in each country. Um, going on from there then, uh, so again, you can see here, uh, they've got very well equipped rooms. This is where you'll be having a lot of your lessons. One of the good things with uh, Tbilisi Medical Academy is the class sizes are often very small. Um, so if you're looking at uh, having a, a small teacher to student ratio, um, it's a very good school to consider for something like that. So going on from there, um, you've then got your simulation rooms. These are going to be a vital part of your education before you go into the, the clinical experiences with real patients. Uh, so this is where you're going to be working on dummies. You're going to be using, as you can see, the anatomage tables as well to do your virtual anatomy. Uh, this is something that's got very popular in modern medical schools uh, you know, in recent years. So carrying on from there, um, you can then see uh, some of the extracurricular and leisure activities. Uh, so as you can see, they have loads. Um, this university has a big emphasis on international. So they have a lot of partnerships. Um, they do a lot of international events, a lot of exchange programs, uh, that sort of thing. Um, and a lot of their board are actually from uh, all over the world as well. So they're not just being focused on by people native to Georgia, um, but they have on their board people from America, people from uh, Belgium uh, and all over the world. Uh, it's a, a fantastic school to experience. Uh, as you can see, sports teams as well. Um, of course, welcome parties. I know this doesn't sound like a very serious thing, but it can make a huge difference to a student when you're arriving there kind of on your own and you want to get ready to meet people. Uh, you know, being able to have these kind of social events where you can all get to know each other, share these common goals and these common nerves uh, and all start to become like a second family for each other. It's something that we like to see every single year. So uh, moving on from that one then, uh, we've then got uh, a guest student. Uh, so have we got uh, our student available at the moment for Tbilisi Medical Academy? Hi, my name is Yipi I'm available. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience at the Academy? My experience over has been really good. I've been helped out from the beginning. The, admin the admission process has been fairly easy. Um, I, with the interview, I did an interview to get into my university TMA. Um, I'd received some pre preparation material and the company has just helped me throughout from the beginning of arriving to the actual country itself. Um, we've had a driver take us to the hotel and just help us see the university and everything as a whole. Um, coming here, obviously, as a person of color, I was worried about, like, since there's not that many people around that look like me, like, it's been honestly completely fine. It's honestly so safe. And everyone is here is very, very kind. So, yeah. All right. Fantastic. It's so nice to hear that you've been treated so well and you, you even sound in your voice so comfortable. And, and so kind of calm for the whole experience and you're about to start I thought you'd be a, a bit more nervous a bit more stressed by now but um, what have you thought about the whole city in general there as well? So the city is very different from what I'm used to however like everything is close by There's, I have access to pharmacies um, local shops where I can go get like food and everything so everything's very close by and there's not much of a language barrier 
like it's people can I would like to say like they speak broken English it's very surface level but if you'd have like in-depth questions um, apps like Google Translate can really help with that. Yes Google Translate is a, a lifesaver isn't it in our modern age. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I find that with, with these countries, when you need somewhere where you need someone to speak English, then they tend to, don't they? Especially somewhere like Tbilisi. It's an international city, capital city. Um, so it's not too much of a problem. And yes. can you tell us any insight about the school yet? Um, the school has been very helpful and attentive. Um, they're very interactive. They do give us some clinical correlations, which kinds of build a broad idea of uh, for the information that we're learning and kind of get to see how everything fits in in terms of medical terms, if that makes sense. So yeah, everything is good. The university um, classrooms are quite small. It's making it easier to communicate with teachers and they kind of pay attention to your facial expressions to see if you understand. And they're always willing to kind of go over things if you're not sure, if you're not certain about something. So that's been really good. Great, so sort of little aspects that make a big difference to, to helping you with your education. Mm, indeed. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, we might come back to you later on um, just to ask you a few questions um, from the q and I'm sure there's probably some people now writing you some questions. They want to hear about your experience. So, again, thanks so much for joining us, and we will probably ask you to, to answer a couple of things in a, a little bit of time, if that's okay. Not a problem. Thank you for having me. Fantastic. You're more than welcome.